still hustling, trying to get it. They mad like I done made it, nigga. How I'm in the trenches. I'm out here just like y'all is. What the fuck you hating for? Maybe you ain't out here, and that's what I got my blazer for. Remember working at my daddy's shop, washing cars. Charging 20 on that wash, I was busting him down. He ain't want a dollar back, just pay the water bill. I couldn't afford a spot, he told me the camper to live. Dope boys at the shop, had that bitch high. Pop shopping every nigga in the city car. Grew up watching this shit, nigga, what you would do? If everybody around you plugs and they kill us too. Started plotting bitches in my head like, oh boy. And every nigga I see my sister, they the dope boy. That must be trying to tell me something, I'm like, I'm coming, nigga. Jumped off the porch and went and ran me up a hundred, nigga. See a profit. This that sold my car and took it to the store. Flipped it two or three times and went and bought some more. This that I'm gone. I ain't going back and forth. Two years later now, you offer back child support. This that gas light on and some gotta change. Reaching in the cup holder, scraping up the change. I'm not feeling in your heart when your bitch cheated. It was your man's and that was they let dirty secret. This that got it on my own and living with my lady. They get the PMS and talking to you crazy. Talk my son, don't be like me, be better than me And say a prayer, I'm in these streets and every day they hear it This that wanna be up on the block for this I took seven shots for this I got caught what by the cops for this Alright gang, look, another day in the life with your boy Shug, man. Um, hit like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Tell a friend to tell a friend, your boy Sugar Man back on it again. Another day in the life with me, you feel me? Yeah, I got my mixtape out right now, man. If y'all haven't already, y'all wanna go get my music. It's on all platforms, even YouTube. Every platform, just, just type in Sugar Man on that, no art. And then, um, talking that Yank volume one, actually, you know what I mean? Um, I got an old mixtape out too. Still bumping. I'm gonna start doing some visuals off of it too. Um, it's called On the Road Deluxe. The On the Road is missing a couple songs. The Deluxe got like four extra songs. But uh, that's definitely bringing in a video, man. With that, hey yo, um, <clears throat> excuse me. Today I wanted to start this video off by showing y'all the T-Rex. This is not really about the T-Rex, but it's about uh, it's about the Digi Scale actually. My other four-door box Chevy, which is always one of my dream cars, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I wanted to bring in this video about the T-Rex because I actually just want to shed some light on T-Rex. I want to just put out there that I'm more than thankful for having T-Rex. T-Rex is actually the brand of my, it's actually the, what, am I saying it right? It didn't took my brand to another level. I don't know the word I'm looking for right now. Y'all hit the comments. Let me know the word I was looking for. It's the whatever, the mascot of my brand. However, it then took my brand to another level at this point, right? And, um, you know, I, like I told y'all, sometimes you gotta hit that button and reset when y'all reach goal, y'all goals in life. Uh, if y'all haven't already reached y'all goals, then uh, if y'all haven't set no goals, I'm sorry, um, set you some goals, man. Um, don't be just out here and in a way, that's how stuff happened. Find you a lane, get in it. Master it, stay in it, and apply pressure in it. If it don't work the first time, go the second time. If it don't work the second time, go the third line time. If that lane ain't for you, switch lane. No matter what you do though, get you a lane and apply pressure in that lane, right? Stay out the way, because that's how stuff happens. When you're in your lane, you're applying pressure. I promise it's gonna be way better. <clears throat> but anyway, back to the T-Rex. Um, the T-Rex is definitely my brand. Um, it then took me to another level, the T-Rex and the T-Rex Jr., my famous four-wheeler, my famous box Chevy. And um, I'm starting, uh, I'm just doing something. Uh, I, I didn't reach that goal already. I know a lot of people telling me don't remix it, don't do this, you know, don't do that. And um, a lot of stuff like that because it's, it's basically already been made. It's 
Yeah, you know what I mean? But it's still some things I want to do to it. I still want to do some touches up to it. I'm going to still keep the theme the same. Keep the theme the same, which is the outrageous paint, which is the peanut butter interior and a gold and chrome package. I am going to do that. I am going to freshen it up. I am going to change the wheels. I already bought the wheels. These wheels right here is for Le Digi Scale, another one of my cars. Um, so as y'all see, I'm, I'm building a fleet at this point. Um, and it's grateful. I just wanted to take this time on my video to say uh, thank y'all for the subscribers. Thank y'all for all the support. Uh, thank the hate, man. I appreciate the hate too. Um, a lot of shops. Um, shout out to y'all too, man. A lot of y'all shops, y'all know who y'all are. Uh, you know, cutting wires, loosening my brakes, not doing my dough jams. Um, a lot of shops, man. Even more than that. Um, stuff with the suspension. A lot of shops, man. Y'all did a lot of stuff in the past, but um, I thank y'all, man. I actually thank y'all because and y'all know when somebody like kind of mess with me, I turn up, I get in my zone, I go harder on my grind, I go harder just to let people know you can't can't mess with me. So I kind of thank them shops too. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't kind of, I do. I thank them shops too um, for um, you know shedding a lot of. Oh no 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 wait wait for doing a lot of flawed things to me in my car when I was spending money and I came for business and shedding light on my flaws. Like, you know, the shops, y'all know who y'all are. Took the videos of my flows and posted them out when they uh, voted me number one box Chevy on Instagram of the world. You know what I'm saying? Y'all did a lot of stuff. So I really thank y'all at this point. Um, it just got to a point now in my life where um, I've exceeded my goals, which is to get the Chevy done, get the four wheeler done, you know, get the dually, uh, reset, reset, move around to another state, move to a bigger state. Um, Pretty much Chicago basically knows me. Uh, all the suburbs know me. I didn't do shows. I didn't do ride outs. It's time to go to another part of the region and, you know, create the same, uh, um, you know, uh, wave. You know what I'm saying? Wave and bigger to add to the platform. You know, I just I want to go to all cities and states. But um, I want to thank all the shops who did me something decent like um, got out on me. Um, I want to thank y'all. Um, I also want to thank my subscribers, man. All my supporters, dog. Everybody who voted for the Chevy on Instagram, share the post of my. Y'all help me get out there. Y'all help me get my message across. You know what I'm saying? Y'all help me uh, push the brand. You know what I mean? Uh, Y'all know what I stand for. Box Chevy, Rob Rod Talk, at the red light. All of that. Yank Talk, talking that Yank. 93 when I pump it. All of that. You know what I'm saying? Everything that I stand for, y'all really help me push it to the next level. And um, it's really all because of the T-Rex. So, of course, now I got new drops coming, new builds coming. Uh, but this is this is definitely the kickstand. This is definitely the support of my fan base. Everybody love the box Chevy. So I want to shed some light on it. And I want to also um, speak out to how grateful I am to have my box Chevy. You know, I went through hot water with this box Chevy for a long time. A lot of people not liking it, getting to it with a lot of people over it. Um, just a lot, man. It, it's been a lot of good behind it, too. I had a couple accidents in it. And, there's a lot of incidents where this really made me. Well, I made it, but it helped the brand. It made the brand what it is, you know what I'm saying? So um, I just wanted to shed some light on that today, man. And uh, for the future, it is under construction. These wheels will be off in the next week or so, and they will be going on the digi scale. That's right. No more of the Maglias on the, on the, on the, on the, on the T-Rex. No more of the Maglias, you know what I'm saying? Um, all right, no more than Magli is on the T-Rex. And we report live from the selfie stick, too. Ah. So, but, uh, yeah, uh, these wheels will be on the digi scale. Um, I do got new wheels for this, and I am going to touch up the interior, probably put some AC in it. You know, I got a remix coming for it. It ain't, it ain't going to be, it's going to be the same thing. It's just going to be basically mature, put the AC in it, the new wheels on it with the bigger lips, of course. Getting the paint right, west end and buff, and touching the interior up. And um, as far as the motor, I don't know. I want to go bigger pro charger, but I just wanted to shed some light on what's going on with this and it's under construction. And tell y'all I'm very thankful for y'all. So everybody who ever, ever supported the T-Rex, whoever showed love to that, definitely, man. It then took me to another level in this game of cars and YouTube and social media that I'm on. Y'all know what I stand for. It's car stuff, it's bike stuff, entertainment stuff, it's music stuff. So, um, it made a lot of people hate me. It did. Uh, made a lot of people like me. 
you know, you got to take the good with the bad. Uh, even Rick Ross put it on his uh, platform. You know what I mean? Um, it didn't broke the internet a lot of times. And um, at this point of my career and what I do, it's STEM, it's STEM. And I'm thankful, I'm grateful, man, to have it as a piece of trophy, actually, is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Um, as y'all know, I got more cars in the making. I got the Malibu. I got uh, the four-door box Chevy, the LS, and I'm looking for a Regal. Um, I think I want to do a Monte Carlo, too. Um, so, um, definitely, man. It's definitely the um, it's definitely the brand. Um, it took me to another level. It took me to another level, and um, I just wanted to tap in with y'all and start my video off with that. Definitely, man. I'm thankful as I'm going forward in my mind. So, so many other ventures, man. Kind of got to know where you started at. You know what I'm saying? I got a. I know y'all like why are you probably talking like that because I got a lot of big. I got a lot of stuff in the making. You know what I'm saying? That's gonna be uh, put out there soon. But I'm also remember where I'm starting from, what kind of got me popping, or I got it popping, or whatever the word I'm looking for. Um, just kind of reminiscing on that. Sometimes it's also good to sit back and look at, you know, what the game means to you and what you mean to the game. Because a lot of people be having that confused. And uh, this is the car. This is the car that basically built me and took me over. Uh, I'll have more great ones after this, a lot of more great ones after this. Uh, but this is basically what got me lit, you know what I'm saying? So, with that being said, hey, yo, hit like and subscribe to my channel. Um, definitely subscribe. Definitely comment. Hit the comments. Drop that T-Rex in the comments if y'all rocking with me. <laughs> That's right, man. And even with my motor, man, my little Pro Charge motor, you know what I'm saying? Uh, LS3 has never always been the fastest. I mean, of course, y'all know people got real race stuff out there, but it was, um, it was always what I wanted, you know what I'm saying? Uh, shout out to Sammy's Tire for putting it in. They put the motor in. A couple more shops afterwards. Um, got it tuned and stuff like that. Big shout out to R&D for getting the Pro Charger working. Um, probably around like 600 horses. Uh, nice to tote them 28s. Nice to do my donuts. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's right. Vortex Pro Charger. Um, it did what I wanted it to do, man. It spent the tires, it did donuts, it red lighted, you know what I'm saying? Got a little rubber and stuff like that. Uh, man, just 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 reminiscing on where I've come from, bro. Long way. Long, long way, bro. A lot of shops, bro. A lot of shops, bro. A lot of shops, you know what I'm saying? Sierra Grill, the gold, the gold grill with the two tone gold. Um, you know, black under the hood is it's cool. This is great. This is what started me, y'all. This is definitely what started me, took me off, man. You know? Ice and black under there. I'm gonna clean it up a little bit. But uh, this is definitely what got me lit. You know, going down the side. Big shout out to PC for um, coming back, touching the paint up, finishing my door jams. Uh, you know, Sammy's tired with the lift. Oh, they owe me some stuff on my lift too. I forgot about that. They know they they know what they owe me. Um, Diego on the guts, even though he didn't finish. Boxer sniffer. Y'all hit that nigga comments right now. Tell Diego, hey bro, go finish Sugar Man guts. Go join his giveaways too, y'all. He's doing giveaways, man. Win y'all a free set of interior, bro, for like fifty bucks. So I'm gonna touch it up, man. Probably put me some more dough handles on. Probably put me another console through the middle. I don't like the console in the back. And the new one is just the old one is just, just old. So, y'all definitely with that. I might gotta give me some floor mats with the Chevy signs. Uh, or I might just get T-Rex in the uh, in the floor mats. You know what I'm saying? Um, probably get T-Rex in the council, I mean, in the, in the things up here. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this is more of a trophy, y'all. Uh, the rear deck, I actually like the rear deck. From the back to the front. And um, I don't want a whole one. I want to two-piece um, get my roof working got some stuff on the roof to get working and uh my kick pods which probably don't just need them a grill so just touching it up all the way around of course getting my trim did it's been sitting in the storage so i don't know what that means why i was doing that getting my trim and stuff touched up 
Um, bringing it back out, man. Very thankful. Very, very thankful. It's still my favorite, bro. It's more becoming of a trophy more than anything because I just started venturing off on different cars and different builds. But this is just like my trophy. You know what I mean? Um, I'm not going to go frame off. It's just that's a lot of money to invest in that. Big shout out to everybody that's going frame off. Uh, I checked the, the prices on that the other day, and that's dope. They they they, they talking 20000 for a frame off. So, I mean... It's not that serious to me right now. I'd rather put that money into another build. Um, but, but salute to those guys who de definitely going frame off. They definitely deserve all the exposure that they're getting for going frame off because it's a lot of bread, dog. It's a lot of time, hard work, and money. Um, definitely. But I just want to weigh in on this, man. I just want to weigh in on this because it was, like, roughly on my mind today, and I was just really thinking about it. I had to really sit back and look at where I used to be, where I've came, and you know what I mean? Just my whole mindset and mind frame, everything was T-Rex, T-Rex, but I'm, I done graduated to different things, but this is definitely still my brand, dog. From this point on, just going forward, what took you off, Sugar Man, what got you lit, what blew you up, it was a T-Rex, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's a lot more stuff I got coming that's gonna take me even further, but you gotta, you gotta look at what you gotta look at the key points sometime, bro, and look back. I don't care where y'all at in life, bro. I don't care, and, and that don't mean that I'm just super up right now. That's not why I'm saying it. I'm saying that I'm looking at where I used to be, where I'm at now. How did I get here? What do I got planned for the future? And just, just all around, and you know my worth, everything. So y'all should all always do that. Look back, man. Pat yourself on the back. Look at what took you off. See how you can use that again to go even further. Just do that. And that's the whole beginning part of this video, y'all. So, um, y'all stay tuned for T-Rex. Like I say, we got a slight remix coming. And we got a whole lot of more builds coming, y'all. You know what I'm saying? It's my baby, man. That's right. Y'all them views, baby. And we're gonna get up out of here and we're gonna go uh we're gonna go check on a few more things, y'all. So y'all hit like and subscribe to the channel. I just want to just do that on the beginning of this video, man. Um y'all stay tuned to the next part of the video. We gotta go actually check on this motor, man. Um the motor uh and the little DJ scale had to come out because the Boats was broke off in the motor, the manifold boats. When we got it out, all of them was rusty. So we got to go get them drilled out. And I took it to the guy that I got fixing my trailers. So we're going to stop by his shop and see what he's talking. If he got them out already, and we can take the motor back. So the guy clean up under the little DJ skill and get it put in and keep this ball rolling, man. So um, y'all hit like and subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned. And uh, I'll catch y'all on the next episode, man. All right, people. So we got the big boy motor. Mechanic dropped it off yesterday. He got it nice and wrapped up. So nothing gets inside of the motor. As far as the um, carburetor and stuff like that. That's this motor kind of old and ugly. Really 1987. Oh, see, we're gonna try to clean it up before we put it back inside of the car. Of course. The broke off in the <laughs> Excuse me, y'all. What's up, killer? I don't want no smoke with you. So the motor. Let's see that the manifold both broke off in there. Y'all see, but she run good. He got it started the other day, as y'all seen on the video. Running pretty good. And they just gotta get the manifold bolts broke, which just look like this one right here. One, two, so it's only two of them. This one, this one. The manifold bolts broke. That one, I'm too clear. This one is broke. You got this one right here. It's broke off in there. What is there any on the other side? This don't look like nothing in those. Yeah. So 
so we got new plugs though. Put new plugs in it to start it up. We had to. So, so nice and wrapped up towel and stuff. Let's see if we can snatch them off for me real quick. We can get this motor back in. As y'all see, they're a good welding shop, man. They got welding. They got a lot of stuff in here that they weld them. This is they do trailers, so y'all see what's going on. <clears throat> They definitely can get them screws and stuff out. I'm at the right spot. Y'all see what's going on. Big boy welding shop, man. All the stuff to get it out. Yep. Let's go see what they talk about. No, I had some bolts break off in the manifold because it was an old uh, Caprice, and um, he was it was it was leaking around the manifold, so the bolts broke off. So I brought brought it to them to try to get the bolts took up out of there. And they pretty old and rusty, so I want to put them get them out, put some new ones in. That's what I got going on. I'm going back original though, same old. Yeah. Anyway, y'all. Yeah. Um, we having guy. Hey, how you doing, sir? I'm blessed. Uh, so basically he got uh he got the motor in here. He haven't got a chance to look at it yet, but he said that he can he gonna try. That's what he said. He didn't say he was gonna do nothing. But uh he said he didn't did it before. So um what I am gonna do is leave the spare tire with him because the last time I was here I dropped the truck off. I dropped the trailer off. I dropped my trailer off. I took the spare tire with me. They supposed to be mounted the tire on the trailer. I took it with me. That's not gonna work. Put this on my trailer. You got it locked to the thing so nobody can I got that tire, which will be mounted like right here. So, you know, we we working, y'all. We never not working. Y'all see me posted on my social media platforms a lot. Where I met him working. I don't care if I'm at the bar. I'm sitting there with the laptop. I'm at the club. I got the laptop. I'm at the restaurant. I got the laptop. On the road, I got the laptop. Y'all see the vibe. Stop acting crazy. Never not working, man. Uh, yes, sir. So, he also told me where I can go and get a good set of headers at. Because I'm putting a good exhaust on the Chevy, too. I want it to sound like a Chevy. Plus, that old exhaust. I'm getting that off of there, too. I'm putting that in a scrap pile. Because it's going to be in the way, I think, when I put my 28s on anyway. Plus, that exhaust old. You know what I'm saying? So. What I'll probably do is, uh, you know, what I'm gonna do right now is go by this place and try to price me a good set of headers for this car. Cause soon as the motor back in, I'm going to put the headers on. Then I'm gonna go get an exhaust put on. You know what I'm saying? So it sound pretty good when we crank up. We want it dripping water. We want the AC pumping. We want to sit on them grown men and we want to beat. I got the alternator place already where I'm gonna get the big alternator put on. I ain't tripping on that. I need some watts to be able to run me about two twelves in there, slam the trunk down. So you already know we got the alternator man already. The alternator man got him. We ain't tripping on that. But I'm definitely gonna put some slammer jammer in the trunk. Feel me? Must I put that in the trunk? Um, but of course, before we get all that, we gotta kind of get the main stuff out the way, which is basically getting the engine running. Getting it cleaned up under the bay a little bit, which I know you say he's gonna probably be the rest of today, and he'll probably let me know something tomorrow on the getting the stud the broken bolts out of the heads or whatever. So in between time, what we're gonna try to do is clean up under the hood because we can use every little bit of downtime for something. So we just 
clean up under the hood. Uh, get all of that fresh. Get that ready to put the motor back in. Then, uh, by the time we get the motor back, we just clean the motor up a little bit, hit it with the grinder a little bit, put some uh, undercoating on the motor, get it nice and fresh, put that back in there. Get the motor jumping, clean up under there, go put the exhaust on it, then shoot it to the paint shop. Let the paint shop do they want to with it, you know what I'm saying? And after the paint shop, um, I actually got the grill in the back, in the side, uh, light pieces off of bezels, I forgot what they call, opera light bezels. Um, I'm about to go get that in the grill, did two tone golden golden chrome so all my pieces i'm getting did excuse me uh all my pieces i'm getting did for the chevy gonna be two-tone so i'll be getting them did two-tone gold and chrome so as soon as we jump out the paint shop we're doing that the top already done we gotta visit him again for the top had exhaust on there we're good got it running got the bezels chrome brand new uh put them on with the chrome interior probably do one more good detailing on the interior you know what i'm saying um after that we're gonna go put the pieces on to get the eights put on there and then after that we're gonna you know after that we're gonna just jump to the interior and get um get the console put in the rear deck y'all know i got the new console the new rear deck put both of those in there and um man bro hit some blocks hit some car shows uh, on to the next project, the Mali. Bro, it's, it's cooking, bro. It's first quarter. We moving, Jack. We never not working. I always say that. We never not working. It's always work with me, baby. I'm, like I say, man, find you a lane, stay in it. I got my lane. I'm in my lane. I love what I do. And uh, we're going we're gonna to plot the pressure. Definitely, we're going to give y'all some great content. So, y'all rock with me, man. Hit like and subscribe to the channel. We're going to stop by the store and see if we can go get us a good set of headers for this motor. And uh, what they're gonna cost. We wanna start it up, we wanna drip it. Blah, 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 blah. We want a good, we want a, yeah, we want it all right, you know what I'm talking about? And uh, we'll get to that in a minute. So, y'all, uh, I, I, I tap in with y'all when I either get to the store, I might just buy the headers today, or when I leave the store. In a minute. Hi, right, yo, 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 check, 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 check it out. So we uh, then basically found uh, a set of headers. Probably get a little cheap set of cheap headers on that one place and try to charge me six hundred dollars. They done lost all of their marbles, Jack. Um, I didn't know it was gonna be all of this going into this motor situation, man. Having to take the motor out, having to get the bolts drilled out of the motor. Then right after that, now you got to get a set of headers going for the motor. You know what I mean? And cleaned up and put back in. This can turn into a whole little, whole nother bill, bro. Like you know what I'm saying? A couple hundred dollars getting getting the, the boats out. A couple hundred dollars. That's five extra hundred just taking the boats out and putting the motor in. It is what it is, though, man. But it's just like a lot of people be trying to tell me about old schools and what you gonna spend and how much it's gonna cost and I be paying a cheap price and I mean I be getting taxed and I be this. I be getting my work done, bro. See, a lot of shops, bro. People tell you what you want to hear, bro, to get you in that shop, bro, and take your money and get your car, bro. You know what I mean? Like, I know what this stuff costs, bro. Everybody be, oh man, I'm paying this or that, and man, I hear you, bro. And if y'all got a real plug like that, I would like to definitely know them, but eight hundred for a motor swap, five six hundred dollars doing this and that. That was not even expected, you feel me? So, a lot of people think that you're gonna get into a job and it's just gonna be just that, it's never just that. That car right there, bro, I already know what I'm getting myself into. All thing I'm trying to do to that car, honestly, realistically, is get that car running for a second. For 30 days, I'm gonna get right back on in another 30 days, you know what I'm saying? I wanna get this done right now, you know what I'm saying? Um, Anyway, we gotta order us a new set of headers. We'll have them here shortly. We'll have them here in a minute. And um, time to get under the hood, clean. 
But let's check this new top out, man. Enough of that. Enough of that. I just had a moment, bro, because you know you expect to always spend a certain amount, but then when you jump into a project, you run into things. So we just run into the bolts and the motor, bro. Okay, now they that. Now we gotta run into some headers. We wanna put some headers on, get a nice exhaust put on it, you heard me? So I just had a moment. Let me have my moment, bro. Like, it just come with building cars. All my car builders out there, if y'all know, they come with a moment. You know, ring, 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 it's the mechanic. You can already know the mechanic finna tell you something you don't wanna hear. And you, now you gotta wait on, first of all, we gotta find it, if we can find it. Then we gotta wait on it. Now they wanna tax you for it, you heard me? It's just like a never ending story of on your bankroll. You know what I'm talking about? But we ain't gonna worry about that right now. We finna jump into checking out this top, see what this top hit about, you heard? All right, check, check, check me out. We still got the motor out, y'all. See what it's looking like up under there. Uh, looking like a grease monkey up under there. But, uh, this is the new top, man, we got put on the other day. And uh, I haven't put the trimming on and stuff because it's gonna actually paint. It's gonna actually paint. So they're gonna have to lift the top up when they get ready to paint. On them edges, they'll have to lift the top up. And I went with the white top. I told y'all I was going with the og Um as y'all see right here, he left the top a little flimsy, but he said when he get done, the top was cracked, man. He wrapped over that, bro. That's crazy. But I just told him, bro, you gotta fix that, bro. No way you should've did that over that. You know what I'm saying? I don't like nigga stuff, bro. But the other than that, the top looks great. I just know it was that cardboard wrap behind there. You could've, you gotta, you gotta fix that, bro. You can't wrap over that, bro, come on. He just said when I get the car painted, bring it back to him. And he's going to put the interior pieces on the inside. As y'all can see on the other side, the interior piece off. And he's gonna put the interior piece on the inside. And then he's gonna fix this. I guess take the top up and fix up under here. And then um, I'm also getting these pieces right here did gold tomorrow. So he's gonna put those pieces on both sides too. As y'all see, we are getting that done. But this is the top. I did just get the top finished. Got a new top on. Other than that, he did. He did a great job. Just beside that part right there. Great job putting the top on, and it's nice. It got the double stitching in it, got the bead line in it. I'm happy with the top overall, every piece, but like I said that piece, that flimsy piece, like, come on, bro, fix that. That should never even left. I wouldn't even have did the job like that. But he probably just thinking, he got to come back to me anyway. I can do that later. First impression is everything. I wasn't here when he did it though. So we would've did that right then. It wasn't even, it got left like that. But this side is not like that because the top wasn't broke up under there. The other part was broke. The cardboard needed fixing up under there, you know what I'm saying? So I guess we gotta put this piece on too. I don't know why this piece didn't get put on. I'm actually call him and see what that was all about. But uh, other than that, Top ain't bad. All white on that gent. Vinyl. White paint. White Chevy. Yes, sir. See we all the wide view, Jack. What is that piece of anyway? Oh, there it is in there. It's in the window. Okay. So, I don't know why he didn't put it on there. I guess he just figured we gotta come see him anyway, which we do, because he gotta do that and he gotta do a couple more pieces. He gotta put that body molding on for me after I get it painted. Too, so. We'll figure it out. We gotta get this motor situation done too. So 
I didn't even know I was gonna have to spin that in the car. That kind of blew me, but we gotta do what we gotta do, man. We get this car done and out the way. Of course, there's more content for y'all, but more money in my pocket. So, and I want my car right, man. I want my car right. Man. I don't want my car bogus. Step by step, getting it done. A little power washing under here. Like a watch maker, look at that joke. The battery cave, busted. That's over different. He's rusty. It don't matter, man. It is what it is. Uh, we got a top on. That's one last step that we got to do. The paint shop ready for it. We just got to get the motor shop right. So what I am going to do, I am going to order the headers right now and uh, get that out the way. And then actually what I am going to do is Take this car to the car wash. We are fun to pressure wash under the hood. Try to degree some of this stuff. Oh yeah, he is gonna wrap the top on this car too. He's gonna wrap the he's gonna wrap the dash from fix the dash and wrap it. When we do that top right there, when when we do that top, we're gonna do this dash right here. We're gonna wrap this dash. And uh I'm gonna go get some grills from Nick and put the Chevy grill, the Billy grills in there, but I'm gonna do the top wrap. So we're gonna fix that and wrap that. Uh, but we got the top on for now, man. So y'all looking at the top, people. I don't think I gave y'all the back view on the wide view. On the wide camera side. Walk around to give y'all the wide view on the side. Down, around. Going OG with it. We're gonna try to get this to the car wash, man, and uh, get this actually did, and um, get this stuff to greased up out of here. Get it look looking fake decent. You know what I'm saying? Out of all this credit stuff like that, get it down and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Y'all got it, man. We got the new top on here. Just trying to get up under here until this motor stuff get done. I'm just so angry right now, bro, because it's just like, I just know, bro, when people be telling me imaginary prices and they people could do this and do that, man, I just, it just never, like, it never go as, oh, man, just, like, it just never happens, really, bro. Kind of angry about that stuff, bro, just like extra $600 out of nowhere, bro, three for that, two for that, 250 for that, just like, ugh, just be blowing me, bro, you be having a set bill price, okay, man, my, my dude is, you want to spend a thousand on that, two thousand on that, four thousand on that, six thousand on that, ten thousand on that, I'm done. Stop it. Every one of it's five hundred added to everything. And you working with old school, you feel me? So, I mean it is what it is, man. That's what we here for though. That's why we got the channel for the content, man. You know what I mean? Serious A1. Cool. Hit like and subscribe to the channel, man. Um, come on, man. I'm not actually to play nothing, bro. I'm not actually to play Nathan, bro. So, see if we can get with the mechanic to take us down to the car wash so we can try to get this hood knocked out. Y'all stay tuned, man. All right, so look, man, we end up getting the um, manifolds ordered. Them will be here in a couple days. We're going to put that back in there. But I'm going to say the job for my cousin. Let my cousin make some money when I hit the M. Uh, I'm going to let him do the paint up under the hood. Like, we're just going to order the headers for now. And 
get the bolt stuck out of manifold, and we're gonna let that be that. Put the motor back in, get it running right, nice, neat. And uh, other than that, uh, let my boy go and get to his job so we can get the car painted, and then get the car to the um, back to the top man and let him finish finishing my car, wrapping the dash, finishing the top, the little pieces that he didn't miss, putting my trim back on there, putting my emblems on, you know, doing other little stuff that he good at doing. So, uh, other than that. You know, we got the Mali over here. That's right. So we got to get this one running too. And I'll tell them what we finna run into because we never started the car up, you feel me? So, um, one going coming out, one going in, under construction, you know what I mean? Oh, to my people that's in the comments, y'all hit the comments, where can I buy like refurbished interior pieces? Like, I wanna buy them and get them wrapped. Like, you know what I mean? Like a dash pad, um, Diego gonna make the door panels, but I need some stuff like the side panels and stuff like that. Do y'all know where do I get that at? Like, not I don't need the red deck. I'm gonna buy one of them. I'm gonna get the dash pad wrapped, but I need the dash. What's the name? Like these side pieces. Where can I get that stuff at, y'all? Y'all tell me that. Other than that, um, who got links to the bumper filler front and back? Send me those links for that. Uh. Pretty much, that's it. That's all I need right now for that. I need the links to those, man. I need y'all help. Make sure y'all help me out with that. Other than that, man, I'm gonna get up out of here on this video. I'm gonna tap back in with y'all on the next video. Probably gonna be getting my gold pieces done. I'm going two-tone gold and chrome on the, um, the DJ scale. So next video, I'll tap back in with y'all. I'm kind of irritated, so. I'm gonna end this vlog and I'm gonna get to my day. I ain't ate all day too, that maybe that's another reason why. I'm out, like and subscribe, download the mixtape talking that young volume on all platforms and I'll catch y'all in the next video. ATL, what's happening? 30 on my wrist, 30 on my hip. Big stadium rocker. Big arena rocker. We global nigga. Sugar man on that 30 on my wrist, 30 on my hip Made it out the trench, tryna get like this Getting richer every day, they can't ride my wave Filling up the set, they can't ride my wave $20 for the T, 200 for my J's But that jewelry on my T, it cost me 60K Two day run on the road, it felt like 60 days Soon as I got off that bitch, we ran up 60 plays Instantly the prices drop, I chill, you know what's up with me That's in front the club. We how you not you trash. That's worth the bubba dub. I know, I know, I know they don't like me. I'm gonna keep on put it in their face. I know they don't like me. I'm gonna keep on put it in they. I know they don't like me. I'm gonna keep on put it in their face. I got houses everywhere. Can't no bitch put me in my place. LV on me, GG on me, DD on me, ABC. Four G's on the candy on it. I look like I'm selling D. Ooh, yeah. Thirty on my wrist, thirty on my hip. Made it out the trench, tryna get like this Getting richer every day, they can't ride my wave Filling up the safe, they can't ride my wave 30 on my wrist, 30 on my hip Made it out the trap, hit the fucking lip Getting richer every day, they can't ride my wave they can't ride my way. Why run on me, OG on me, hit me up, got what you need. Got up with a did it to ignore the bitch, cause I ain't him. What you talking about, you him? What you talking about, you lit? Heard you on the bell now, nah. and your partner got the Ooh, rich. Yeah. Champagne spillin', shoot it in the air, fuck it. Music high, turn the corner to me. Every day, they can't ride my wave Filling up the set, they can't ride my wave $20 for the T, 200 for my J's But that jewelry on my T, it cost me 60 k Two day run on the road, it felt like 60 days Soon as I got off that bitch, we ran up 60 plays Instantly the prices drop, I chill, you know what's up with me Hating niggas trying to shop, you know you don't fuck with me Pull up, I take up two spots That's
success and fuck the club. We how you not you trash. That's worth the bubba dub. I know, I know, I know they don't like me. I'm gon' keep on put it in they face. I know they don't like me. I'm gon' keep on put it in they. I know they don't like me. I'm gon' keep on put it in they face. I got houses everywhere. Can't no bitch put me in my place. LV on me, GG on me, DD on me, ABC. Four G's on it, candy on it. I love. Sugar man. It's long overdue, nigga. It's yours truly, the big homie, baby. Tapping all the way in. We talking that yank, Nick. Gillette, Illinois, to the motherfucking world. Yeah. Now one bike life. Chicago was poppin', nigga, let's get it. A lot of y'all been hitting me up, wanna know how I've been doing lately. Hey, Sugar Man, we going down through that, nigga. Don't play with this shit. Don't play with this shit. Don't play with him, nigga. Big box Chevy Rider, nigga. Skrrr! Ah! A lot of y'all been hitting me up, wanna know how I've been doing lately. I've been doing great crab legs and steaks still on my plate. Don't need your lovin'.